So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you do the hologram effect my way, my take, my twist on it. Super simple, even if you don't know anything about Premiere Pro, whether it's you wanna look at a cool screen and look like you're so in the year 2060, and you're like, ooh, cool, man. Or you just wanna pick up your phone and be like, you get the point. This video is gonna be all about the hologram effect. I'm gonna jump into Premiere. No fluff, no filler. I'm gonna jump straight into it and show you what I do to how I get this effect. It's the easiest way. And if you stick all the way till the end, I'm gonna show you a little something, my gift to you, a little bonus. Stay tuned. So what is up guys? And I'm gonna show you the super basic way of doing the hologram effect, as you can see right here. This is level one. I'm gonna go through different levels of this and show you the, from the easiest to the most complicated. So first, what you need is a screen recording, and all this is right over here is just a screen recording of my YouTube page. And then what you wanna do is you want to pair up the video of where you're actually doing the swiping techniques. So I'm just going through the video here, all right? and then I find wherever that swiping motion is. So the easiest way first of how I would do it is you get that screen recording and you don't even worry about matching it to your phone or whatever. Honestly, all I would do is I would reset all these parameters. I'll show you guys. So first is you have the screen recording. Next is I would zoom it in so it is pretty much full screen and it covers all of your screen. Next is you want to go down to the opacity, right? You don't want to leave it at 100. I would leave it at, let's say, 60%. Next is you want to go into your effect panel and you want to apply something called basic 3D. And this is a newer feature in Adobe Premiere. And it's essentially, if you're familiar with After Effects, is you're applying a 3D layer onto your image or video, I mean. Now that you go into your basic 3D layers, what you can do is you can swivel it, right? You have your X, your Y axis. So all I would do for the most basic level of the hologram effect is I would turn the tilt and that is your hologram effect, right? But level two of difficulty gets a little bit more trickier is I'm going to crop this and I'm going to show you guys of how I pair with my phone and apply a little bit more effects to this. So a level two of actually the difficulty of having the hologram effect is same thing applies. I have my screen share here of my phone, of my YouTube channel, and same thing applies. I have opacity turned down to 67. And as you can see, I cropped it so it fits the square. So it looks like it's equivalent to a phone. Apply the basic 3D effect. And these are my dimensions. So what I did was this is the basic if I just applied on zero, zero. And all I did was I just matched it. So it goes into the X, Z, Y axis here. And to add a little bit more hologram effect is that you go to my color panel and then I simply what I did was I just made my temperature all the way to blue. So it gives it a little blue color grade, super simple, easier way. And next, what I what you want to make it look a little bit more hologram-y is you go into your effect panel, go to noise, I apply that on as you can see right here, crank it all the way to 100 so it makes it grainy, careful that it doesn't get cut off here. So as you can see here, this hologram effect with the noise, so it looks a little bit more believable. And I'm applying it, because it's 4K video, it's a quarter or an eighth of the actual quality because please be warned that the basic 3D effect does have or take a lot of uh, RAM. So if you have a slower computer, it's gonna freeze up your video. So as you can see now, if I play it, there is my simple hologram effect. Super easy, right? And now if you watch this far, I'm gonna show you the most advanced hologram effect of how you do this. And it's gonna be a combination of After Effects and Premiere. So now for the most difficult level is what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna essentially just put a 3D camera tracker, this motion track it, and I pair this with my layer on top in After Effects. So what I do is right click all this, replace with After Effects composition. Now that we are in After Effects, all I want to do is I'm just gonna right click and I'm going to go to track and stabilize and go to track motion. So all I need to go now is I have the two track points, rotation here, I'm gonna control Z that. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit because uh, I gotta see my track points. And I'm essentially just moving my track points to where my phone is as well as rotation so you have two track points 
And what you're essentially doing is you want to pair it to where there's a little bit of contrast. And if you don't know how track motion works is the inner square is your reference and the exact where it will track and everything else is just a reference point. Play, and as you can see, Adobe Premiere is tracking the top of my phone. So what I'm going to do after it tracks it is I'm going to apply that track layer to my actual hologram, fake hologram layer, if that makes sense. So it looks like it's more connected to the phone. So I'm just going to let that play all the way through and let Adobe After Effects track that. Now that it tracks it, what I'm going to do is going to edit a target. So I'm going to create new, create a null object, and I'm going to click edit target. And my edit target is going to be my null, and I'm going to click apply. Right, X, Y, click OK. Now, as you can see, the scale and position is connected to that null object. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick whip that null object to my camera layer. So now that the camera is uh, picking up my phone, you would just want to adjust how it moves. And you might want to either change up your track motion so this is just the quick way. I'm just, I would need a little fine tuning in terms of the track motion. I'd probably redo this and go into tracking. Instead of just the top of the phone, I'll probably track this part. So I'm going to go back into my track motion. I'll show you guys how to, how to fix that because right now it's just tracking the, to the top. So what I'm going to do is go here, track motion, get rid of this null, same process. And that is how you track the motion to your phone so it looks a little bit more believable. But of course, I need a little bit more fine tuning, maybe do the three camera tracker. But that is the more advanced version. And last but not least, I would go into my effects panel and I would either use, let's say, Saber or just the glow effect. But let's just for uh, simplicity, just put on the glow effect on this guy. As you can see there, you can change the glow. I can make it a blue color this on full so y'all can actually see it and that is the hologram effect you can also apply wave warp stabilizer if you want to get super fancy with it but that is the hologram effect if you were more at an advanced level to see how you would do this or how i would do this in after effects and because you did uh link it all you need to do is you just go to swap back to adobe premiere and it is a dynamic link so as you can see now I have my hologram tracked to my phone. I, I'm going to do a little tweaking as you'll see in post, but that is how the quick way of how you do the hologram effect. And you want to also time it to when your finger moves. That's also a trick to make it look a little bit more believable, but that is how you do the hologram effect in Premiere as well as in After Effects. So now guys, you know exactly how you make your videos and using that cool hologram effect, making yourself look like it's 2069. And that was super simple. It's the way that I do it. I know there's other people that do it their own way, but this is how I put my little twist, my take on it. And if you want to get a little more serious about Adobe Premiere, link in the description where I have, where I'll give you a 14 day free on Skillshare where you can have access to all my course, especially my How You Learn Adobe Premiere in under 30 minutes guaranteed. Check that link out from me to you 14 days for free. And if you want to get any of my resources, everything is in the description. Check that out. My name is Peter and I hope you learned something from this video and now you can do cool effects. Cheers and you're watching a broken engineering collective. My name is Peter. We all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers guys.